All right, man, torture talk, torture talk. You know what it is, man. We back in here, man. So look, man. So look, man. Drake has came out of the woodworks and did a live, and he talked about certain things he said. Uh, he could point it directly at Kendrick and uh, other things he said, too. So we're going to get into that. Before we get into that, Legendary Spill, this is Torture Talk. Like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy, single ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. They over there. <laughs> I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links in the screen, cash app. No more PayPal. Just cash app. If you want to leave it, you don't have to. It's all good. Just slow. you being here is actually pretty good to me. So look, bro, they call me the king, of the, the king of the north, hidden gem, all that good stuff. I'm just trying to get to the clip, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I got to rush through that because I got to get this out. This is this is this is breaking news. So I got to get this out. So look, man, we're going to get into that, man. And we'll be back to discuss. All right, this comes courtesy of the Chink Smooth channel. Let's go. YouTube, man. Say I'm 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 gonna I, I wanted to announce this before you okay, say you know Chig gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chig's gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Say I'm 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 gonna I, I wanted to announce this before we even get into gambling. Run because I'm excited. Drake pulled up to a live stream, promoted a new tour, gambling, and a visible disgust any time a song was played by anyone from the other side of the rap war of 2024. What's up, y'all? Is your man Talkers World Report for the Chick Smooth channel? We gotta talk about this. Before they get to the main event, the reason they're all there, the sponsored gambling, Drake would give a toast to start the stream on a high note. I guess I should give a little intro, like, um, I'm Drake, this is XQC, real streaming legend. Me, I do music, in case you didn't know. I'm here, as you can see, fully intact. Mind, body, and soul, in case you were wondering. Right? Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. You need facts to take me out. Fairy tales won't do it. Cheers to everybody. Always live by. <laughs> twenty twenty five is going to be such a great year. Oh my God, I can't wait. It's going to be such a great year. If he's starting off like this, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say. I'm going to keep licking my lips because I feel like my lips is ashy for some reason. I don't know why. My own, don't think I'm LL or nothing like that. But um, He's really showing, he's really, really showing that he is really bothered by this loss. And I'm going to get into my theory of what I think Drake should, should do uh, at this point because my other theory I had, I thought he should do something but I think my theory has changed. You know what I'm saying? I think it has changed. So let's keep it going. Words to live by. Real talk. Cheers Chat. to everybody. Love. W's for everybody. Max is tonight. Anitas. We need Max winner. Mm-hmm. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, I mean, I know that's synonymous with a shot. He's taking a shot. Obviously, saying he, he taking a shot at Kendrick, but he's also taking a shot. Now, when he just said, when he said a few minutes ago, when he said, uh, no fairy tales, fairy tales can't take me out. So he's basically insinuating that Kendrick was lying or is lying about whatever's going on. Let's be clear here. When you dealing with rap music and battling, all rappers and battlers lie. Let's just put that out the way. Let's just get that out the way and just, just say that. You know what I'm saying? All battle rappers and all battles lie. They all fabricate stories. They all did this to your mother and your brother and your sister and your cousin. Everybody did all that. Oh, and you got this, and I heard you had that. And I heard you were, were uh, taking it up this and all that. Everybody lies, right? Here's the thing. His lies, Drake, what Kendrick said about Drake, it's kind of verifiable. And on top of that, even if it's not as verifiable, I will say that his lie, his, if he's saying Kendrick lied, if you're going to say Kendrick lied, I don't say that. But what he said kind of sticks to you a little more than what you said about Kendrick. So when you say fairy tales, you made up 
a whole lot of stuff, dog. A whole lot of stuff. And it kind of made it seem like, like, it kind of made it seem like, like, you were just basically just saying these things because you want to paint a narrative that you was lied on and you want people to feel sympathy for you. But that's not the case because what Kendrick said about you is more, it's more, I would say people would lean more towards it. Like you did hide a child. So you probably do have a second or third or fourth child. That does happen. I mean, you did, you can't say you didn't. And on top of that, let's not forget you were on stage with a 17 year old telling her she was thick and she looked good. Why she looked like that. We are never going to forget that. So I want y'all to understand when people say stuff about, uh, when people say to you, Oh, he was lied on. Just bring that up. Just bring that up. Say, well, okay. What about the 17 year old? And then, and then when you say that, say, would you allow him to say that to your daughter? That's what you say and see what they say, because you could really see a person's mind state and how disgusting people are if they would go along with that. But let's keep it going. I need that tonight. Listen, after that toast, they will get into the intro to the sponsored gambling where Drake announces a new Australian tour taking place February 9th, the day of the Super Bowl. He's got to stay busy somehow. Say I'm so let me get this right. Well, let me let him let, let let's let him announce it, and then I'll talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I wanted to announce this before we even get into gambling, Run. because I'm excited. But uh, February 9th, for anybody that's watching from Australia, I'm coming back to Australia the first time in eight years. Coming back to Australia on tour. It's actually funny enough called the Anita Max Win Tour. Really? No, it's not. I swear. It's the Anita Max Wind Tour. Melbourne, Sydney, Gold Coast. Uh, yeah. I said a lot of W's in chat, a lot of uh, Yeah, a lot of boys. W's in the chat. Anita Max Wind All right, so let, let me speak on this real quick because this is very important that this be said. This is what I mean by when we talk about people who are sabotagers and people who literally are uh, what they call them megalomaniacs or uh sociopaths i believe drake's a sociopath i definitely believe that this is what he is because the way he goes about things is sociopath like behavior you know what i'm saying like he, he to me instead of him taking this loss and because you can't, this is what I'm saying, bro. You can't say that you love hip hop if you are trying to actively sabotage, sabotage one of the biggest artist moment. And I know some people say, well, there's concerts going on that are, that are happening during the Super Bowl. There's concerts going on, but... Here's the thing. Number one, right? Drake and Kendrick are in, were, and maybe still is in a heated battle, right? Well, it's going. We just gonna say it's still active, right? You're actively trying to sabotage a man's moment. Now, some people will say, "Well, they are still. In, there, they are still in a battle." And some people will say, "Well, why can't Drake just take a loss?" I, I don't know who Drake advisor is, and I don't know who is telling him to do these things, but they need to be fired immediately. And if it's him, he need to be fired. He need to fire himself and he needs to sit down because you doing that. Now the culture is really not going to like you. Now the culture is really going to stand again. Now you're going to have your people who like you and they're going to defend it, but once, once the culture catches up with those people, they're going to realize that you are actively trying to sabotage something that's going to happen for the culture. Now, a lot of y'all might say, well, it's, it is Kendrick, but you got to ask yourself, Kendrick is doing it for the culture. That's, that's, the, that's what it is. Drake is doing this to try to stop the culture. Let's be honest. He's only doing this to sabotage the culture. 
That's it. He's not the culture. Drake is a, a, a he he is he he is a, a a part of or a little bit of it, but he's not the culture. You know what I'm saying? He's not. Everything everything that's wrong with the culture of hip hop and how it came up is Drake. Everything. Everything that y'all hated about hip hop, everything y'all hated about hip hop is Drake. Everything. So I'm th- I'm saying to y'all that <clears throat> it's gonna catch up to him. This is going to catch up to Drake. I don't know why people don't understand this. It already has begun. You know what I'm saying? This is why he hasn't dropped anything of any any good because he is afraid to drop something because if he does and it doesn't hit, he knows he's probably going to go into a great depression. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all right now. Don't be surprised to hear about something and mark my words, mark this episode. If his album doesn't do good, don't be surprised to hear about something. I'm telling y'all now because I could see right through him with all of these shenanigans he's doing. This is all this is all shenanigans. How you on a stream for you on a stream for uh what they call that? For gambling, promoting gambling and you're talking about you announcing your tour. You're talking you're supposed to be talking about your website in 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 the the gambling um website that you just created and you're a part of. How are you talking about your tour? Like what are you talking about? In tour, February 9th to like March something. So Australia. Is it just Australia or going to other places? No, I'm just coming, I'm just going to Australia for now. It's been eight years. I haven't I haven't I haven't been back. So. Oh, wow. Why why did you never go back? I don't know. That makes me sound crazy. Like I I love it there. It's just yeah. that that right there, my friends, is the is right there what he just said. Is is clear definition of the sociopath is. He don't even know why he didn't go back before. He could have did this tour earlier, but he decided to do it on the day of the Super Bowl. And, 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 and y'all will defend this guy to the end. I can't see how anybody would defend this guy. Anybody. You will defend this guy to the end after he literally just done something like this. I don't care if you're a Drake fan. You got to call him out on this. You got to be like, bro, that was, that's corny. That's real corny for you to do. But some of y'all going to be like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. That's what's up. I'm glad he doing it. That's what's up, bro. He should have did it. That's all a lot of y'all going to say. Oh, yeah, bro. Man, that's right, Drake. Step on that. Step on the Super Bowl, bro. Who cares about the Super Bowl, even though y'all going to be watching it? Nobody's going to be watching Drake's uh, performance maybe over there because that's what he got to do. But nobody's going to watch it uh, watch, watch it on TV or, or the Internet. You think people going to watch Drake's concert over Kendrick's Super Bowl concert? You think that? No, I don't think so only reason to bring up that they are being sponsored to gamble is because this stream is happening on kick whose majority shares are owned by the founders of stake which is an online gambling company this isn't just two piles hanging out or just a simple marketing scheme for the music so even while they're being paid to look like they're gambling when the weekend songs get played in the background drake gets uncomfortable and needs it changed immediately you have to switch this song. <laughs> it's on a play, you know what I'm saying? Yo, he's corny. You have to switch this one. Bro, he's corny. You know, look, you, 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 know, you know when a dude is seeking val- validation from somebody, you, could, you know how you can tell? They will, they will look at somebody else. He didn't genuinely want that. He just wanted to say that on stream so he could have something to say. You know what I'm saying? Because everything surrounding Drake, he got to look like he's in control. He's like this controversial figure. You're not, bro. This is corny. I mean, like, this is a elite corny behavior. Top of the line, cornball, rolling down a hill and catching more corn until it becomes a giant cornball called Drake. This is what this is. You looking over there. What you looking over there for? Like, why? You got to get your approval from somebody over there? And he's telling them this, don't play the weekend's music. Oh, we don't play that in six. Like, bro, 
if you don't stop that, bro, he just literally did a tour. I believe he did a, a, a concert over, out there and it was sold out and he did a, a stadium tour that you couldn't, you couldn't even do or you didn't do. How you gonna say, yo, this is what I mean. Like y'all be defending this guy. It's so crazy to me how y'all defend this guy. I, I just can't believe that y'all still defend this dude. I really can't believe it. I, it, 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 it blows my mind to see people really defend and you, I'm talking about thorough dudes who be defending this guy. The dudes that are from the streets and they thorough and they be like, man, that's right, Drake. And like, bro, this dude is a manufactured fake guy. And you, you, you always talk about how real you want everything to be, but you cheering this guy on. I don't understand it. Real, we're real sixers, we're real sixers, the real, real six side. We don't listen to that. You ever you know this before? Nah. Uh, what, what, what? Yeah, yeah, of course. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. And then before Drake leaves, he wants to make sure everyone remembers that no matter what, he's still alive. Chat, Chat. love, biggest sixer. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. Let these guys try and tell you different. Promise. Trust me, like I said, mind, body, and soul. I'm here. What's up? Jesse, love. Thank you. Thank you. Bro, you have a, you have a problem, bro. You have a problem. You have a, a tension problem. You have you probably have a drinking problem and a drug problem, bro. Allegedly. But it's so crazy to me how we give Drake this pass. And I got some more to say. Let's keep it going. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it a lot. Do you think Drake has a career in streaming? Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section. Peace. Ah, right, you know what to do. You already know, I like to give credit to the content creator, so tap in with them if you want to see that without my commentary. But, um, King of the North, you know what to do. Um, we are, we are at this point where, and I'm going to speak on this uh, a lot. We're at this point where Kendrick Lamar has done something, not just to Drake, but to hip-hop in general. And I think that a lot of us need to understand that he's, he has made it to where it's exciting, but only from him. Everybody else, they just look like they're just trying to catch up. And I just don't see, he just overshadowing everybody at this point. It's so crazy to me. He's really overshadowing everybody. He just dropped the video today. We're going to get to that. And Everybody's all over it. There's other artists that got music out. Y'all do know that, right? But Kendrick Lamar is just, he's just Kendrick Lamar, man. And it's to me, it's just, I feel like, I feel like, like, this whole thing with Drake and how he is being petty, and even this is more than petty. Let's get past the petty thing. This is much more than petty. This is, this is deliberate. This is diabolical. This is like, okay, I'm trying to sabotage what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care if people say, well, you got to understand, he out the country, he in Sydney somewhere, bro. It's big difference over there. So, no, bro, no. Why would you, why not start it the next day? Why do you need to start it the same day? You know when the Super Bowl was. You did that on purpose. How y'all go, how y'all, how y'all side with that? How y'all side with that? It's just crazy to me how people just, they don't, they don't really just try to understand the psychology behind this guy and they'll just go along with it because y'all have such a disdain for successful, successful, uh, how would I say this? A lot of y'all, let me be honest, I'm going to be 100%. A lot of y'all hate the fact that Kendrick is a foundational black American and he's successful. A lot of y'all can't stand it. A lot of y'all hate yourselves. Y'all really do. A lot of y'all hate the fact that he's a black man that has no skeletons, nothing. Y'all wanted him to have skeletons. Y'all wanted it. Y'all wanted him to beat on his wife so y'all could have something to talk about. I never seen nothing like it. Y'all wanted that to be true. Even if it was true, I wouldn't want it to be true. Y'all want it to be true. Yeah, man. He, yeah, I, yeah I, I know he hit her before. I know he did. It's like, this why y'all talking. You want Kendrick to beat on his wife so you can say, oh, see, he's not perfect. 
Nobody said he was perfect. He even said he ain't perfect. But for y'all to sit here and want something to be true, I know I want that man. I know that's not his kids. I want not like you want you want that to be. This is how y'all know that y'all on the same wavelength as Drake. If Drake made that up, you gotta understand he made it up. But y'all want it to be true. That's what this battle came down to. This battle came down to who could prove that something is closer to the truth than the other. And Drake failed. And he still, to this day, can't get past it. I'm still here. Nigga, it was six months ago. You could have ended that battle when you said you ended it. You could have said, yeah, I'm done. You could do 10 records. I'm done. Or you could have said, yeah, man, good battle, bro. Good battle. You know what I'm saying? Now let's get back to making this good music. And then that would have been it. That would have been it. Then Kendrick would have went his way. You would have went your way. He wouldn't have said nothing to you. You wouldn't have said nothing. But you go and do no face, and you're still talking crazy. You do circadian rhythms. You're still talking crazy. It's like, come on, bro. Red light, green light. You're still talking crazy. And then people saying, oh, well, why is Kendrick? No, bro. You already know. Drake was the one that's still taking shots. So what Kendrick going to do? That's why he said he would never end it. He would never stop. So, but either way, man, I'm glad that y'all was here with me today. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all what's the name? Eight o'clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock show coming up. You know what I mean? You know what it is. All right, man. See y'all. Peace. I'm out of here, man. If I can find this thing, this little mouse, man. It's so crazy how. The mouse disappear and you be moving it around and be all on the other side. You got to shake it real fast and it becomes real big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So look, all right, man, I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. <laughs>